Hey guys, so today we are talking about how to set goals with your team. And uh, as I was thinking about this and kind of planning out what I was gonna say, um, I thought through kind of how we work with our team. And I think yesterday is the perfect example of how we did it. So I'll talk about that and what we did yesterday in a minute. But um, one of the things uh, that I do whenever I'm setting any sort of goal for my business um, is pick three main focuses. Um, it is very hard to focus on more than three focuses in your life. Um, three very big focuses. Um, everything else kind of gets secondary. Um, it it doesn't. It's not your center of attention. So pick your top three focuses for your business. What are the top three things you want to do? Now these goals can sometimes change week to week. Sometimes it changes monthly. Sometimes it changes once a year. It's up to you what those goals are and what you're wanting to accomplish. So let's say your goal is I want to land three clients this month. Okay, fantastic. So the goal is um, three clients. So what are the things we're going to do for that to get that? So maybe we're reaching out to five people a week to get uh, potential leads. Maybe we are pushing out extra content and video content and educating so people understand more about what you can do and why you can do it. Maybe we are creating some sort of masterclass or, or webinar or um, resource or training that could be used. Maybe we're promoting a Facebook group, spending lots of time answering questions, reaching out to people who are looking for your services or um, just providing value in any way that you can. So these are just four of the many different ideas that you could do for landing clients. Let's say that's your one goal. Then you might have another goal. Um, maybe it's getting on top of client work for this week or accomplishing this project or whatever. It, it doesn't matter what your goals are as long as you have those goals. So one to three goals that you're going to focus on in the week. Now, the cool thing is as you grow your business and as you grow your team, there's a lot of times where you're going to want to make sure that you're working together to achieve those goals. It's really great to be able to know, okay, um, this week we're focusing on getting a client. We're going to book this many social media audits. We're going to do X, Y, and Z. So we're going to plan those things. So let's say, let's use the example like this week when I was talking to my team, I'm like, we want to book three to five social media audits this week. We're opening the doors again for that. So, okay, what do we need to do for that? So the next thing we did is delegate. So each person knows exactly what they're going to do. So one person is in charge of creating Instagram stories. One person is in charge of creating um, social media posts. One person is in charge of reaching out to people and asking them. Um, and one person is in charge of um, creating behind the scenes um, conversations and through LinkedIn or or whatever um, and booking the calls it really it varies but this is the kind of things that we would do so delegating so each person knows exactly what they need to do to accomplish the goal as you're growing your team and as you grow your business you're gonna find a lot of times you have a big goal and that's great but how are you gonna do all the things because you only have so much time so this is where delegating is gonna be really important um, so you want to do that. One of the things I like doing is having a team meeting. Now we meet once a week. You don't have to do that. You do once a month, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, we like to do meeting once a week because we're constantly changing our goals and what it needs to accomplish each week. So we meet, everybody meets together. We go through any holdups that we might have. Um, we talk about what needs to be done for the week, who's doing what, um, what our goals are obviously. And, um, then we do wins and, uh, so a personal win and a business win. Um, and the nice thing about this is that you're encouraging your team. You're building those relationships with your team. So what's something you're celebrating that's a business win? Um, we have a few interns. So what's a win? If it's not business, then maybe it's something related to school or something like that. So what is your big win? So you would talk about that. One of the things you want to make sure that you're doing is creating realistic realistic timelines. Now, one of the things that I really like doing is when a, when a team member asks, when do you need this done? I will say realistically, when do you think you can have this done? Because if I say I want it done tomorrow and a day and they can't do that, well, then clearly either I need to get somebody else to help them or we have to create a different a different plan or set some better expectations. So a lot of times I will say, okay, you know what, I can do this part. If you can do this part, we'll get it done faster. So we talk about that sort of thing. So realistically, what are your timelines? And then create actual deadlines so that way you make sure things get done on time. Um, so if you're not creating those deadlines, you're gonna find a lot of times that things aren't getting done on time and 
um, they're last second and it's not, it's not what you'd like to see. So create those deadlines. One of the things I like to do is track the progress of our goals. So one of the things we actually have is for every single one of our clients, we have an a Excel file, a Google Sheets file, letting us know which clients need to be worked on. So we can see if they're missing one week of content, two weeks, three weeks, or if they're out of content. Um, and so we can see all that. So when we get the yellow or the red, um, because it's color coded, because you know, we can do that. Um, when we see the yellow or red, we're like, shoot, this needs to be done this week. And then we can put a team member on it to get it done. Um, we started doing this a few months ago just to keep track of what everything that need, needed to be done. And with our team right now, we're actually completely caught up for the first time in forever. Uh, we have two new clients that are, we're just waiting on stuff. Um, but everything else is caught up and up to date. Oh, feels so good. So uh, we like doing that. So tracking your progress. One of the other things that I like to do is in Todoist, I will create a task. Now I have premium, I believe. So in Todoist, I can create a task and let's say I'm going to do a masterclass in a week. So what are all the things I need to do? I need to name it. I have to create the copy. I have to create the delivery emails. I got to create a sign up page, all these different things. So while I create this idea of, okay, I'm going to do this masterclass, what are all the ideas? So I create sub ta uh, subtasks underneath that. So I have a whole brain dump of all the things that need to be done. So that way I can go in and just check them off as we go. So it's not like, oh shoot, so I'm doing this masterclass. What else do I need to do? And I can dedicate an hour out of my day to say, okay, right now I'm going to work on this masterclass. So what needs to be done for this? Um, so my whole to-do list isn't all masterclass stuff, but I can see what needs to be done and I can work on that realistically at a good timeline and uh, meet my deadlines. So I like doing that. The other thing I like to do with a team specifically is we have Trello boards set up. All my interns are in one board. It's an intern internship board to keep track of who's doing what. Um, we have all the tasks that they do regularly each week, things that they can work on if they run out of things to do. And then what task have I asked them to do right now that needs to be done? So I have all of that in there so that way I can see, okay, um, intern one is working on some Pinterest training, writing a blog, creating some content, and promoting social media audits. So I know they're going to do those four things this week. And then I can keep track of who's doing what, where they're at in that. Okay. They did the Pantry training. Fantastic. Check that off. We have that ability to do all of those things. So that's really, really helpful. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Hopefully this helps in some way. Um, if you have a team and you're struggling with how to grow your team, manage your team, um, anything like that, I'd love to support you and help you in any way that you can, even if you're just growing your business and you're like, you know what, I want to grow it. Maybe you're not quite there where you need a team yet, um, but you want the support to get to a point where you can hire a team. Whatever it is, I'd love to support you and help you in any way that I can. So you can message me directly, comment, comment in the comments, uh, do whatever you got to do. We do have a Thrive course that we talk about how to grow your business in a way that prevents burnout and you can manage your mental health at the same time. And I think that's really, really important. It's something that when I started my business, I wish I had had. So um, I put that together for you guys as well. So if you want access to that, comment Thrive in the comments and we will send that to you because it'll be really good for you. So hope this helps. If you have questions, comments, thoughts, anything, put them in the comments. Love to hear from you. Oh, am I getting it? Am I not getting it? I don't know. Now I have to call you and I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> that was why I did it online, guys.